Uh, Mike, one all here against Maidstone. What were your thoughts on the game? Uh, we did very well, I think, especially the first half. We had um, most of the share of the possession, just lacking that extra bit, like the, the final and the final third. I think we should have got, we could have got at least one or two goals in the first half. But, but yeah, we've got a point away from home, which is really encouraging. Just keep to, You just have to keep the momentum going. And for you personally, back in the starting 11, so you must be pleased. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you know, there are some periods like this where you, you know, as a striker, you, the team, the gaff is gonna rotate the team. You just have to keep your head up. Like everyone needs some chances, and when a striker goes through um, a drought period, it's normal for him to start on the bench sometimes. You know, to get back that, um, to get back fresh, and then when he comes back. Do some um, do something different, and probably get back the goals in. So, yeah, it's feeling nice to, to get back into the team. Yeah, and seemed like a, a good performance as well. I guess um, <coughs> did your job well. I guess the only thing you, you didn't have to do is hit the back of the net. I know, I know. Yeah, thank you. Um, well, I know like everyone was praising me that I did well, but yeah, I did well. But uh, for me, the most important was to score. So I wanted to score obviously as a striker, but, but yeah, still the drought period. You know, it's drought period, it's usually a period when there's no rain, but we all know the rain is eventually going to come, so I know the goals are going to come. We just have to stay positive and just keep believing, which is what I'm doing. I'm doing, like, the gaffer wants me to hold the ball, set it, have a good hold up and link up play, which I think I'm doing. But yeah, um, the goals are going to come, I just need to be patient. I know uh, the manager <clears throat> in this press conference was saying that um, you have improved as a player in terms of spreading the ball out and uh, bringing other players into the game. And I know you've worked on things uh, a bit extra in training. Is that something you've been looking to concentrate on as well? Oh, yeah, yes. Um, you know, because I am mainly looked as a target man. So he wants me to hold the ball, save the ball, and then get into the box because that's what I'm going to score goals. You know, so um, that's what I'm trying to do. Obviously, sometimes you get a confidence in the game. You want to come short, hold the ball, and then probably get two or three touches, you know, to get the confidence, which is what sometimes I'm doing. But yeah, he mainly wants me to set the ball and get into the, get into the um, into the box and score goals. And I've been working on that during training as well. So yeah, I look in the game. Um, they were, they were, you seem to target you a little bit, um, and the supporters, uh, the home end, uh, give you a bit of stick. But it didn't look like you mind. You seemed like you it willed you on a little bit. Actually, actually, I actually liked it <laughs> to the, to get the booze. It means that you you know you're troubling them. Yeah. Obviously, it's not good to get a booze if you're diving. But I don't think I was diving. I wasn't diving. I was, they were booing me for the right reason because I was in the and to the defenders. So I, it actually was an extra bit of adrenaline in me. And then. Um, yeah, um, it was it was really pleasant to get to get it. I, I, all I was looking for is the goal because if I had scored, then it would have been a different story. But um, yeah, uh, obviously in the second <coughs> half, disappointing to go a goal down, but it was a really good response, wasn't it, from the lads? Oh yeah, um, that was a great strike from Brad Walker. And um, in the second half, I think the Agafa, the manager, saw that I was causing trouble in the um, in the central, so they brought in that center that center back. The, the tall lad and he was kind of a one one v one like he yeah. was marking me so everywhere I was going he was he was just on my toes so it wasn't easy I had to look for another strategy as I, I noticed I wanted to sometimes go wide but he was always following me so um, yeah I think the gaffers noticed that that's why I got I got stopped off but but yeah, to come back one ill, one ill, and then get a point, it was, it was really feels good. Yeah, we get that point, and now we move on to next Saturday, and what is a, a really big game, isn't I it, know, against yeah. Lady Orient? We are actually top of the, of the table right now. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it will be a really important game. You know, everything was about today, but now today's done. Got to think about next week, and I think we're going to prepare properly for that during the week, and then receive late, and we're playing at home as well, which is important, but... As I said, no game is easy. Maidstone wasn't an easy game. Later might not be an easy game. If we turn up, um, like, you know, just thinking it's going to be easy. But if we turn up, you know, um, going there for three points, as we usually do, then we might have a good game as well. Cheers, Mike. Thank you.